Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? Man, 48 hours feel like 10 years. What the hell you going to tell you? I miss everybody. I miss Pisces. I miss Scorpio. I miss everybody. But I'm back. I'm back. We got part of it straightened out. So some of that was my fault. But anyway, we ain't even going to discuss you two. Anyhow, anyhow, um, I have shuffled and cut up all the cards I plan on using this evening. What I know thus far, Taurus, um, this is your weekend update. We're rolling tomorrow, Friday the 26th through Tuesday, March 2nd. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of the month. It's over. February is done, completed, finished, finito. Uh, which means that we are getting into the third quarter, the third month of the first quarter. Um which from an astrological aspect you should be seeing things to come um, you should be wrapping up any 2020, 2019 2010 <laughs> 2008 business you should be wrapping it up um, things that are no longer serving you regardless of how you ended it. Whether you walked away, the other person walked away, you walked away from the job, whatever. Um, just know that you have cleared the way for something good to come. Um, I know y'all are, yeah, you've been saying that for two years, lady. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Um, what's on top is the back of the star card, which means you are in between the tower and the moon um, so the upset has already happened the star, the back of this card well, the star card in and of itself talks about hope, it's related to Aquarius um, and I always get the water out of this damn card, Pisces, Cancer Scorpio, however, however but I always pick up the water element in this card but it is primarily Aquarius um By making peace with your past. And that's what's on top. So that's what's going to leave the shit off. What's on the bottom is a knight of swords. <laughs> Y'all done just went brain dead. Like, I ain't doing none of this. I'm doing something brand new right now. So let's get the cards on the board. Taurus, I missed you. Okay, I'm over myself. Music. We are getting back to some harmony. But the three and the two tells me there are changes. Three and two makes five. Oh, damn, now I got too much light. What the hell? You know, can't win for losing. But that's 32. And that makes five. So we're in the building blocks of becoming harmonious. Changing where you were to where you're trying to go. Challenges, manifestation, continuing to manifest. Just get a rope and throw it out there and reel in what you want. Back into your overall is synchronicity. So, you have stepped into the portal, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And look at just, yeah, I wish y'all could see. Let me fuck with the phone, right? Look at all that purple and pink and orange, all kind of just blended in together. What you want me to tell you? What do you want me to tell you? And leading off, this is about the harmonics in your life and balance. It's the best way. I'm a musician, so it probably makes more sense to me than it does to you. But you, you've heard people singing with the radio like five keys off and you just want to turn around and say would you just shut the hell up you are so off key we can't find you that's when if you take that imagery that's how you are when you're out of balance you were just singing way the fuck off key on some other shit and it sounds awful and you feel awful and it's awful because it's out of balance well 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 look here and synchronicity 
and manifestation. Come on. It ain't get no better than this. I don't know what you want, really. Now, I'm sure my cards here are going to tell me the rest of the story. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay, I, okay, I got it. Thank you. This is all kind of positive shit. <laughs> I know it looks fucked up, but it's, it really isn't. So the, the music with the Knight of Swords, um, that was the side that was up, determination, but what I actually pulled was unforeseen events. So there probably have been and will be some things that you will see probably on social media. Where the hell else do we see anything? Shit the hell. Facebook, Instagram, something. And go, oh. So now we, we're getting into the deeper meanings of what's going on behind the scenes. And maybe some toxic situations. Or things that you think you should have gotten and didn't get. So you may be in the energy right now of, with your mouth just open like, damn. Well, damn. Well, oh, damn. They could have told me, damn. That part. The good thing about any of this is why you oh, damn. You're coming back into harmony with yourself. And you're looking at maybe where you missed a red flag or two or ten. Hmm. Or you didn't pay attention to your intuition way back when. Hmm. And so now... You're just kind of looking at all the things just kind of popping off around you like, what the hell? And some of it may be unsettling to know that, you know, for those of you maybe that were in uh, situations of work and somebody backstabbed you, you know, and now you're beginning to hear the whole kit and caboodle of what really went on. There may be new people coming in that are just giving you information about maybe a project or a situation that was going on at work and just how dirty and fucked up people can be but as you're hearing this even if this is about a romantic situation and you're finding out you know maybe your lover wasn't being as truthful as they proclaimed they were trying to wish they were part yeah and so now you, you're hearing shit seeing shit on the back end going well they same thing the thing with those types of mm, unforeseen events is that you begin to recognize and, and take responsibility in a very natural way for what the hell. Because your natural instinct when you hear and see shit like that is to go, I remember something told me when you start there in that energy, that's a red flag that just would sail past you. So this is good because as you're learning this, you're letting shit go. Hence, the music is sounding a little better. On the back end with the synchronicity and the eight of wands on top, um, shit's happening fast. And if it's just beginning to pick up for you, speed-wise, buckle the fuck up. That's all I can say, because it's coming quick. You see my little horse up there? Quickly. There's communication in this. Um, that horse is saying mercury to me so there's some communication that's probably going to go on all of this is helping you get in balance you can call it music or synchronicity or what the hell ever all of this is helping you get in balance and get attuned to the universe because ultimately the challenge here is to stop worrying and start manifesting that's your challenge for the next three four days five days six days whatever stop worrying and start manifesting um the minute you let go of whatever situation has got your brain plagued with a bunch of bullshit will be the minute all the rest of this starts popping off around you. So, and for some of you, and I'm in that some of you group, it may take a little longer. But the universe really wants you to just let go.
Eight of Wands, some divine action. Let some divine action happen. Let that shit happen. Just let it happen. And let things come to you the way the universe is going to give it to you. Friday, again with the star on top of the self-love, making peace with your past. That's a part of self-love. I know there's nobody talking about it like that, but that's really where you do that inner healing. There's some shit. We go back up here to the unforeseen events. There's some shit that goes on. We come in contact with people that ain't shit. Part of the fucking human experience. What do you want me to tell you? And so, again, those red flags that, you know, I knew something was, yeah, right there, that energy right there. Making peace with that and going, okay, I knew, I did know something was going on, but I was just, I wasn't really listening to my intuition. I thought second guessing, whatever. But forgiving yourself, making peace with the past. All of that is a part of self-love. That's probably how we're going to kick the weekend off. That's not a bad thing. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will be alone. I don't think many of you, much after Saturday, are going to be by yourself long. So, uh, just because you're making peace with your past, and that's major energy, it's also telling me something that you may do this weekend may actually walk you into the portal, into chapter number, whatever number you want. I'm just saying. Saturday, the Two of Pentacles and leadership. Whenever I see this, because this, this Two of Pentacles here talks about uh, making it look easy. So there may be some situation where you need, may need to just step in and not bitch and moan and complain about it and just do what you need to do. This popped up a couple weeks ago for tours. I don't remember exactly about what, but... It's the same energy. There may be a situation you just need to fucking, you don't need to ask for permission. You need to just go ahead and do it. And before anybody realizes what's going on, that's that making it look easy part. They're going to go, oh, damn, you've been doing this a whole time? Oh, yeah. So whatever this is, this is like a reminder from a couple weeks ago. I don't, you'd have to go back through the videos. I'm pretty sure it's a weekly update, but you may have to just step in and do what you need to do and let everybody catch up because there may be some situation. This has got caretaker and money and bills and shit attached to it. There may be something that just needs to be done that nobody else is doing either because they're too lazy, they're too ignorant, or they just don't know it even exists. And it's getting late. I don't know who I'm talking to. But you ain't got a long time to do it. This is like a reminder, again, from the universe. Yo, 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 yo. That part right there. For others of you, that may just be about juggling some bills. You need to get something accomplished. You may have had something that unforeseen events again pop up. Maybe the kiddos need something extra. People going back to work, back to school, doing whatever it is. So there may be some unexpected expenses coming up. That's particularly those of you in family units. So just be mindful of that. When we get to Sunday's energy, looking at the spirituality card with the Ace of Wands on top. By you being in charge of your destiny and your shit. There are new beginnings here. And this is fast fire energy is fast. You may be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but this is hot and fast. You, do, you ever know when fire is blue, it's hot as hell. I'm going to just put it out there. When it's blue, don't even, don't, don't try. <laughs> don't try. It's hot as hell. Um, so this is dry ice kind of hot. It just fuck you up. So, be open. Those of you that are looking for new relationships, be open. Uh, those double sevens. <laughs> Make 14 and one and four. 
Makes five. Changes, people. Changes. 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 Um, whatever's coming is going to give you some confidence about your spirituality. Maybe some of you thought the gods weren't listening or something. But whatever's coming forth will give you uh, a renewed sense of your spirituality and what you believe and why you believe it. So this is all to the good. This also starts in the beginning. Like I said, it's coming in hot. Blue fire ain't nothing to fuck with. I'm just going to tell you. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. Not at all. Monday's energy. Um, the four cups on top of the spiritual career. The four cups here talks about opportunities passing you by. The energy that I feel right here is... Um, opportunities that you said no to so for some of you this may be about an ex as we're finishing up shadow the shadow period of mercury retrograde going direct last saturday getting ready to go into the second second and final week of shadow thank you um these are going to be about opportunities you said no to and they may bring up some emotional um some emotional things, but it will, this is another one of those things that will help you understand how far you've come spiritually, because if you think about what you've just dealt with, or what you dealt with last year, maybe five years ago, you wouldn't have been able to deal with it in the same way. So, there's a bit of reflection going on this weekend, uh, and that's never a bad thing. That's never a bad thing. Kind of helps put the current into some perspective as long as you don't get stuck in the past. For Tuesday, the Seven of Wands on top, on top of the physical activity. You may have to seduce your lover. You may have to. A lot of fire up here on the board. I don't know what the hell that's about. But Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you may get a little hot and steamy next week. And this has got that kind of energy to it that's long-lasting. I just thought I'd put it out there like that. but and, and I really do mean getting into situations that'll last a long time. But y'all hear me. <laughs> a bit of reflection this weekend. Some of you may need to do a little juggling. Some of you may be doing your taxes this weekend, too. Uh, that's another thing. You may have to just take, snatch the pencil out of somebody's hand and sit down and go ahead and get it done. Um, anything like that, you may want to just go ahead. If it's something that's coming up, make a plan for what needs to be done so you can get it done when it happens. Like your, your tags or your driver's license or... Uh, any kind of maybe medical or professional certifications that you have, if they've got expirations coming up in the next three or four months, you may want to go ahead and get that shit together. While you have the time and your mind is on it. I'm telling you, that look all, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, 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 just like that. It's coming. If it ain't hit you yet, I think most of you, that are going through this, however that's resonating. You're already in it, but you don't realize it yet. And I think that's comical. I, I do. I do. It's all good, Taurus. Everything is for the good. I think most of you will like the changes that are coming your way. Again, the object over the weekend is to not worry and start manifesting. Talk it out. I told you there's some communication here somewhere. That horse up there, Pegasus. I don't know why he reminds me of Mercury, what the hell, but there's a conversation, several conversations that may need to go on. Talk it out. Yeah, so your, your challenge, don't worry, start manifesting that. Patience, my dear, patience, as you're going through these changes, <clears throat> um, 
making peace with the past. Sometimes it takes time. Some, like I said earlier, some people it takes them longer to process this shit. I'm one of them people. It takes me several times <laughs> before I actually go. Okay, I got it. I'm just saying. Ask questions. Things that you want to know. Conversations coming up. Ask questions. Um, don't just. This is not a time towards for you to be polite. Now, in a professional setting, yes. It's, obviously be, be as professional as you can be but when it comes to things outside of work family friends this is not the time to pretty shit up it ain't it ain't <laughs> it ain't so just you got things to say say it without being mean or overbearing just, just say or ask what you need to ask Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. What the hell does that about? Where you come up? Yeah. Let's get here. Winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin it. Put that up there. Get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people give back. Do good shit for humanity. So I, there, there's a level of gratitude, and I think it's coming from the back end of this star card, making peace with the past. There's a level of gratitude that needs to occur there, and that's what this sounds like. Maybe we need to, besides just telling the universe, thank you, give back. Somebody may need help you can give them just because of the shit you've been through. Think about that. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That no, that shit never works. You do you. Stop trying to, as I told you earlier, the control. Just let the universe do what it's going to do. The very thing you may be trying to change in somebody might be the very thing that saves your damn life. Okay? I know y'all didn't want to hear that part. <laughs> I didn't want to hear that part, but that's the truth. A lot of times we're so busy trying to change something because we're looking at the short term and not the long term. We fuck shit up. Universe is asking you to, as my Christian friends would say, let Jesus take the wheel. That part right there. My bullies, I love you. I'm glad I'm back. I missed y'all. I will have more up here this weekend for sure. Love y'all. Bye-bye.